Okay, so that's that's how we uh, configure uh, select uh, uh, how we limit access to the selector administration side. Uh, this is Windows Server 2008, but everything is the same in Windows Server 2003. I mean, the essence, the logic is, is exactly the same behind. Maybe button names are different uh, and so on, but, but it's the same. So, uh, so you can just use this presentation to configure Windows Server 2003 as well. Uh, okay, so we will start uh, with the uh, installing an additional role in IIS, which is Windows authentication, because <coughs> we want to get authenticated uh, when we open administration site from some other machine, from some other uh, company machine. Now, as you can see, I will open an in Internet Explorer on my machine. This is Internet Explorer on my machine. Now, I will go to... Uh, sure to uh, the administration site on that virtual machine. And you will see that it's not uh, forbidden to do that uh, right now. Uh, that's the IP address. This has so you see. Uh, I can uh, freely open the administration site from, from another machine. And, um, and now let's start configuring it. So I'm going to add role services. Security. And we need Windows authentication. Uh, in Windows Server 2003, uh, in the IS6, it's already installed, so you don't need to do that uh, additionally. It's only needed for, for uh, IS7 or 7.5. Okay, done. And now we go to IS itself. And the trick here is, here the default website under which select server is installed. The trick is to only apply uh, the configuration to the admin folder, because this is the folder that is used for select server administration site. All others should not be touched, because if, if you apply restrictions to them, uh, the users will not get licenses as well. Not only uh, will not be able to uh, connect to the administ administration side, but will not get licenses. So what we do here, uh, we select ad uh, admin folder and double click authentication. Then we disable anonymous authentication here and enables, enable Windows authentication. And then Uh, the other thing we need to do, we need to adjust the uh, Windows file permissions for the same folder. It, it also exists on, on the disk here in the C program files. And then just select server. You, you see the same admin folder. And we need to adjust the permissions. Now everyone has uh, permission to, uh, to view the contents. We, we need to make sure that only admins have. So we go to properties, security, advanced, uh, change permissions. We disable this option. And uh, uh, we need to click add here so that to keep all those permissions. OK. Done. And now here we remove users. Uh, users remove. OK. So now that folder is only accessible by, uh, by uh, the users defined here, actually, in security. So administrators of this machine and, uh, of course, some other predefined uh, users. Now I will demonstrate how that works. It's actually all the configuration. 
we had to do. Let me just double check. Yes. Yes, that's all. So, um, using the same uh, window. Now, uh, I will try to refresh it. And you see, now it doesn't let me just to connect. It asks me uh, to authenticate. First of all, I, I will authenticate uh, using uh, a regular user account. In that domain, that's, that's a regular user, not ad, an administrator. And just a second. is called. Yeah, that's it. So you see, I authenticated to the server. That account is fine. It, it exists on the server, but it's not allowed to use the administration side. And the user will see this. And now I will try again. And you see, it started connecting. Now it should display the administration side. Yeah, here we go. So uh, now we connected using an administra administrator account who has rights to open administration side. So that's, that's the way you configure uh, select server in such a way that not everyone is able to, to open the administration side.